Let us first look at S that is social. Each one of us is present on some or the other social platform. Be it Facebook, be it LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. We are all very familiar with the way social networks work. It has caught our fancy and there is a reason for that. I'm not going to go into too much detail to explain the social network. If you are interested in social network, I have another course, the foundational course in digital marketing. You can go to that course and you will find a much vivid picture of social networks. However, the key to understand is that social networks are touching the lives of people unlike any other media or medium of the past. Let us look at some of the staggering facts and figures. Facebook today has more number of users than the population of China or India. Now imagine if you are a marketer who is looking to capture China or India. It's a daunting task. And you get more number of people than the population of China or India on Facebook, a single platform, which is in your palms. It can't get more lucrative or more exciting than that. More than 25% of the population of the world uses social media for connection and collaboration. In fact, it's very close to 40%. Most of it happens on the mobile phone. But a small portion also happens through the desktop. In emerging economies, especially South Asian countries or African countries, the growth of social media is more than 100%. That is, the number of people on social platforms is doubling or more than doubling in these economies. The point to understand is from a marketing or from a business perspective, why does social media become so important? To explain this point, let me tell you a few examples. Imagine you are going through your Facebook news feed and you have a friend who has posted a nice picture of himself. You really feel like you want to like the post. But a thought crosses your mind. Hey, this guy never likes any of my posts. I post so many things. But this guy never reacts. I will not react to what he has done. And you stop yourself from liking the post. Now what has happened is that social media in this case has created a boundary between you and this friend of yours. The behavior of your friend on social media has influenced your behavior on social media and maybe if you happen to meet your friend outside social media you would still carry these thoughts in your mind now this was a little negative way of looking at the impact of social media in fact social media has broken a lot of boundaries across the world Facebook whatsapp YouTube have helped people connect with each other share information, learn from each other. It was impossible to think about a decade back that you will get together with all your school friends. But WhatsApp, Facebook have made it happen. It's so easy to connect with somebody whom you had met 20 years back through these platforms. Social media has had a more positive impact than negative across the world. 
from a marketing or a business perspective if you have to look at social media one thing is very clear social media has transformed and altered the way people communicate and interact with each other the power of social media is enormous and it's not just the marketers but also people who are involved with technology have to understand and they have to leverage this enormous power of social media